In this construction, we're looking at construction 22, which is asking us to draw the orthocenter of a given triangle. First thing I'm going to do is draw that triangle that we're given. Doesn't matter on the length of the sides or the sizes of the angle, it's up to you. So just draw a basic triangle on your page. So with my ruler, I'm just going to draw the base of my triangle. Then I'm going to draw the side. And then my third side. And that's our triangle. Now, it doesn't matter if any of your corners are intersecting each other. This is a construction, so it doesn't have to be uh, completely neat. These can cross if they wish or they intersect. I'm then going to label the three corners of my triangle or my three vertices A, B and C. As normal, you can call them whatever letters you wish. So I'm just going to go A, B and C. Next step, I'm going to construct a line perpendicular to this baseline AB. So in order to do that, I'm basically just going to place my ruler along the line AB. And next step, I'm now going to put my set square sitting on my ruler edge. So looking something like that. And I'm going to slide my set square along my ruler edge until I get to the vertex opposite that line. So I'm looking for the vertex C, in other words. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from AB perpendicular to AB that goes through the corner C. So that's that red line there. So if I remove my set square and my ruler, you will see now that that line that I've created is perpendicular. So I'm just going to mark in my symbols for perpendicular. And I'm going to carry out the same steps for the other two sides. So now I'm going to place my ruler along the side AC. And line it up. And then I'm going to move over my set square. I'm going to place it along the edge of my ruler, which I'm doing there now. And it must go through the corner B. So it's going through vertex B. So I just need to extend the size of my set square there. So just make sure that you're not drawing it too large. You may need a third ruler in order to connect the point B to back to my ruler. So that looks about right. And I'm going to use my pencil now and draw a line along that line, along the edge of my set square. And if I remove my set square and my ruler, that point here where my red line and my green line are intersecting is known as the orthocenter. Now I'm just going to carry out my third line. I'm going to do it now for the side CB. And I just want you to see that it will also go through these two uh, lines. In theory, in practice, you only have to carry out two lines, but let's do the third. So sliding my ruler along the side CB like that. I'm going to place my set square edge along the ruler and slide it until it crosses through vertex A. That looks about right and just get it exactly correct. And if I connect vertex A back to the line segment CB with my pencil, you will now notice if I remove my set square that the three lines, the green one, the red one and the purple one are now intersecting each other. And where they intersect is known as the ortho center. So I'm just going to highlight it there so you can see it. That point that I'm highlighting in blue is known as our ortho center. And that's our final construction 22. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.